Hello and welcome to the Daylighting in Ladybug Tools series. In this video, we're going to review a couple of different ways for adding shading to apertures, uh, either in the form of a perimeter shade depth or louvers. To get started, we'll go to Grasshopper and we're going to work with um, the Create Geometry script in the previous video. And we can take any aperture. We can work with either one, right? You can start with the rooms, or you can have a surface by surface script for the base geometry. I'm going to work with the apertures for my window and skylight here. And there's one component we need to drop down first so that we can visualize the changes that we're making. So if we go to the visualize section of the Honeybee tab, and go down to visualize by type and drop that down. What we'll do is connect it to um, the model output. And let's go to Rhino. So when we go to Rhino, we see that the geometry now has a set of default colors applied to it. So context, context is shown in purple. Roofs are shown in red. Apertures are this light blue, walls are yellow, and ground or floor surfaces are in gray. So this is just a default set of colors that are applied. We'll zoom in here because we're going to start playing around with our apertures. Let's go to Grasshopper. And now that we have the preview on, we can go to Create. And the first thing I want to show you is Extrude Border Shades. This allows you to um, create a perimeter shade the size of your aperture and this is a quick way so I'm going to apply it to my windows and you can also apply it to your skylights but for now I'm going to do it for my windows and I'm going to apply it in a depth of 0.3 so there'll be a those are the two main inputs that you want you can choose whether or not this extrusion happens on the exterior surface or interior surface if you connect a boolean toggle set to true as an input for indoor it will extrude it on the interior face of that surface for now we want to do it for the exterior because this is a quick way to take into account depth of your um, wall surface so now that this is connected you don't see it yet because we need to connect the aperture so we need to disconnect the aperture from here and now that we passed it through here, we can connect it back. And now you can see it automatically applies a shade of a certain depth. You can increase the shade depth or decrease it. Right? You can do the same for apertures if, it's, if you want it to be the same depth. You can see that it, for the skylights, uh, it applied the same depth. Or you can copy this and change how it connects. So we'll disconnect just the plain apertures and add the shading. So now you will have two sliders that allow you to change the depth. So it might be deeper at the roof because you might have a really deep roof and your walls can be um, not as deep, but you have more control over that. The next component we want to look at is maybe adding louvers. So I'll just move all this out a little bit to give us a little bit more space. And go to Create and select the louver shades component. What I'll do is I'll bring in the HB objects from the shading device. Sorry, the perimeter shading that we added. And I will select a new depth. Maybe this depth will be 0 0.1. And we can connect a shade count. Um, the default is set to 1. And we can add more. So um, I'm going to assume that there is... What you can't see is that it's only creating 1. And the way for us to visualize that right now is to connect apertures and connect the output from HB objects to apertures here. 
so that we can see it. You can see it's very small in Rhino. But because we want a couple more and we want them to align with the, perimeter, the extruded border shade, we're going to keep it connected this way. And you can see that little bit of an overlap there. And let's play around with it so we can increase the number of shade counts. So say we want maybe 20. We can connect that to the shade count and that will add a few more. Or you can select the distance between. Oh. Well, in addition to the quantity, you can select the distance between each. So say you want it to be 0.2 maybe. And you can play around with this until you get to the desired size. And it's always going to use your window size as your extremes. Um, so it won't exceed the size of your aperture. There are other options. You can change the angle. So if you don't want them to be perfectly perpendicular to your aperture, you want to have a bit of a in, uh, inclination or you can change the angle and that requires just a value, a number value for what, um, what angle degree you want. Uh, you can also switch from horizontal louvers to vertical louvers by connecting a Boolean toggle. So if you were to connect a Boolean toggle and set it to true, it will switch to vertical. And then you can increase the number of louvers you have to fill that out. And it will maintain that spacing. You can change the spacing and then you'll have to increase the number and just kind of play around with that. And same thing for the angle, you can apply it to either version. So if I was to do a, um, a 45 degree angle here, it would slope them. You can see that it's a 45 degree angle on the vertical end and kind of play around with that. This is a 45 degree in the horizontal. Um, and you can also flip the start. So say you wanted it to start from the bottom instead of the top. So you can connect another Boolean toggle for the flip and it's going to be more visible if we decrease the number of louvers. So you can see it's starting from the bottom instead of the top now. And again, similar to the extrusion, the border extrusion, you have the option to turn it um, as interior or exterior. So that takes another Boolean toggle and it will be on the inside face. We can probably peek through the skylight. There you go. It's on the inside face now. So these are quick ways that you can add some shading and context to your model. Um, and you can layer it so that you do the border extrusion to take into account wall depth. And if you have louvers or uh, vertical shading structures that are going to be integral to the design, you can apply them to the apertures. Thank you so much for watching.